Leo. Welcome to your June 2018 tarot reading. My name is Serafina Safi, and this is Enchanted Miro Tarot. Um, please consider subscribing. I'm going to be having bi-monthly tarot reading. Um, and hit the little bell icon if you want to, and you'll be notified as soon as I post a new uh, tarot reading. And I should be posting the 1st and the 15th of every month. Um, a new tarot reading so that's exciting also I just launched a brand new website it's in the description box below so let's get started on your reading Leo shall we uh, last month you guys won like 18,000 views on one video it was amazing it was my second month doing these so bravo for that um, on my new website I have a Leo special if you want a personal reading um, it's only $20 for Leo's only. It's the Leo special, so go check that out as well. Uh, it's for a 40-minute reading, so that's really cool. Uh, so give me one card for Leo, the central theme of Leo's reading for the um, June 1st through the 15th, 2018. It's a central theme. Okay. So it's change, but it's in the reverse. So there's no change here. Everything's staying the same. Everything's staying stagnant. So we have change in the reverse. That's the central theme of your reading. What's presently affecting Leo? June 1st through the 15th of 2018. What's presently affecting Leo? June 1st through the 15th of 2018. Okay, so I have the King of Pentacles. So that's strong Capricorn energy. The King of Pentacles is very secure. He's in control. He's all about power and discipline and um, abundancy. And it's telling us that you need to take some time for yourself. It's a Virgo energy, uh, which corresponds with the Hermit card in the Major Arcana. So there should be a time of some self-reflection here. Um, take some time for yourself. Be critical of your surroundings. That's the, that's the message that it's sending. So what's crossing the King of Pentacles? presently for Leo. What's crossing the King of Pentacles presently? Oh, and uh, the King of Pentacles has the Midas touch. So anything that you touch turns to gold. So financially, you guys are very well off presently. What's crossing the King of Pentacles currently? What's crossing the King of Pentacles? One card. card. All right, so I have the Ten of Wands. This is fire energy. Uh, the Ten of Wands specifically would be Sagittarius energy, and it's about burdens, being responsibility, uh, being stressed out, hard work. There's a need for being free being optimistic you're working too hard but you your work's paying off you're financially you're doing fantastic but you're burdened you're overworked you're stressed out when the past is affecting Leo when the past is affecting Leo I do see that in the past you did have poverty um, this is the five of Pentacles and this is extreme poverty so that's causing you to work harder now and you're you're feeling burdened by all of the work that you're putting in um, because in the past you did have extreme poverty what else in the past is affecting Leah's present what else in the past is affecting Leah's present all right, so I have the Three of Cups. So the Three of Cups is about um, celebrations. There's uh, friendships, community. It, it could be family commitments, like motherhood. 
It could have to do with a cancer. I have strong Capricorn energy here and I have Cancer energy. And I also have Sagittarius so far. Okay. What is Leo's biggest fear? June 1st through the 15th of 2018. What's Leo's biggest fear? All right, so I have judgment. X I I I. No, I don't. I have death. I have death. So your biggest fear is something ending. Um, but all endings bring about new beginnings. You have to kill off the old in order for the new to happen. So your biggest fear is something ending. Um, but things need to end so new things can begin. What does Leo truly wish for? June 1st through the 15th of 2018. You wish to be yourself. You wish to be strength. This is a major life event. This is inner strength. This is being able to tame the lion with love and kindness and charm. Yeah, this is inner strength. So you truly wish to be yourself and to channel your inner strength. How does Leo view themselves June 1st through the 15th of 2018? How does Leo view themselves June 1st through the 15th of 2018? You view yourself as the king of swords. So you view yourself as a clear, effective communicator. You view yourself as somebody who says what's on their mind and has a sharp tongue. Um, you view yourself as someone who makes the rules. And that's Gemini energy. <coughs> Excuse me, I, I just had pneumonia. Well, I still have pneumonia. <coughs> I'm healing from pneumonia, I apologize. Um, so how do other people view Leo June 1st through the 15th of 2018? How do other people view Leo June 1st through the 15th of 2018? Other people view you as the Four of Swords in the reverse. So they're viewing you as someone who's very restless, who's burnt out, who lacks progress, someone who needs a time of rest. What's coming towards Leo? June 1st through the 15th of 2018. What's coming towards Leo? June 1st through the 15th of 2018. Alright, so I have the Queen of Wands, but she's in the reverse. In the reverse, she's just pure mean. <laughs> she's just pure mean. She really is. Um, she's Sagittarius energy. So the Queen of Wands is um, a shrinking violet. She's aggressive, demanding. She's um, very insecure. She manipulates people. She backstabs, she talks, she gossips. And this is Sagittarius energy. What's the outcome for Leo June 1st through the 15th of 2018? Oh, I have celebration, happiness. Stability, uh, family and friends getting together. This could be a marriage. This could be um, going to a wedding. This could be a party. Um, any type of celebration where you get together with family and community. And um, it's very happy. Why is the Queen of Wands reversed here and what's coming towards Leo June 1st through the 15th? Why is the Queen? Queen of Wands here. So 
So you're unable to let go of the past. Cycles aren't ending. And there is blocked or repressed emotions. And this Queen of Wands, it could be you or it could be somebody that you know. It is fire energy. And Leo is also fire energy. I always associate with Sagittarius. But it could be any fire sign. It can be Leo. Um, and it's happening because of blocked or repressed emotions. So you're going to need to process your emotions and allow things to fully complete a cycle and quit holding on to the past. Yeah, because look right here. The lion just showed himself to me. It is talking about you and it's touching the Queen of Wands. Is there any other advice for Leo? June 1st through the 15th of 2018. Any other advice for Leo? June 1st through the 15th of 2018. I have um, freedom, so I see that you're liberating yourself, there's peace, there's hope, there's new beginnings, there's the ability to fly away, there's purity here. And I see that what it takes is gratitude, being grateful for what you already have. There's a metamorphosis, there's a change. There's blossoming into the person that you should be. There's blossoming. So if you refuse to change, it's going to block your freedom is going to block your gratitude. Um, so you need to be able to be flexible and a, a ready to change. There's a transition. There's a transition. So overall, I see presently that if your finances are fantastic, your health is really good, but you feel very burdened because you are putting a lot of work into this. Um, they're long sleepless times. And the reason is because in the past you either had failing health or you uh, had extreme poverty. And there's a lot of friendships and celebrations in the past. Uh, you're afraid of being overworked, worked to death. Uh, which it seems like that's what's happening presently. You view yourself as a clear, effective communicator, a quick thinker, an authority. Uh, you, you view yourself as someone who speaks the truth. Um, what's coming towards you is um, somebody who's very aggressive, somebody who's very demanding, somebody who um, people just don't want to be around and the reason is an inability to let go of the past and blocked or repressed emotions you truly wish to be yourself you truly wish to have that inner strength to be charismatic um, and i see in the outcome you do have celebrations you do have happiness and you have freedom coming towards you. There's a transition. And in order to obtain that freedom, you need to be have gratitude for what you currently have. Well, Leah, thank you so much for joining me again. I'll have bi-monthly tarot readings. Um, please consider subscribing and hitting the little bell icon below. And that